Welcome to a technical presentation from Prom. My name is Timothy Busbis and I am Prom's Chief Technology Officer. Today I want to talk about a significant difference between our AI paradigm we call biologic intelligence and that which is found in classic or maybe even antiquated AI such as deep learning. That difference is plasticity and plasticity in the same manner that animals change their nervous systems when learning. Prohm's biologic intelligence is based on the emulation of connectomics and neural temporal functionality. There are many differences between the old AI paradigms and biologic intelligence, but the one I want to show in this presentation is plasticity. Let's start off by defining what we mean by plasticity. Webster defines pl biological plasticity as the capacity for continuous alteration of the neural pathways and synapses of the living brain and nervous system in response to experience or injury. Prohm's nervous system emulation performs nervous system alteration by four methods, strengthening neural pathways, weakening neural pathways, creating new synaptic connections, and synaptic pruning or removing connections. To illustrate plasticity and biologic intelligence, we created a very small artificial connectome. It has only 10 sensory neurons, 206 cortical neurons, excitatory and inhibitory, and 18 muscles. Motor neurons are part of the cortex and they stimulate the muscles. After we created a simple artificial connectome, we created a program to use that connectome. The program has a small image and on that image are four pixels colored black. Every time the program scans this image, it will stimulate certain sensory neurons when it sees the black pixels. As sensory neurons are stimulated over time, they in turn, once a threshold is exceeded, stimulate cortical neurons. Cortical neurons will stimulate other cortical neurons and eventually motor neurons are stimulated and muscles are stimulated. As cortical neurons stimulate one another, they begin to alter their structure in reference to the stimulus being received. Excitatory neurons start to strengthen pathways and inhibitory neurons are also being stimulated and they start to weaken and prune pathways. The eventual results are pathways tuned to specific sensory stimuli. The example program also shows the adjacency matrix, the image in the middle, where the x-axis and y-axis are the same neurons and muscles, and where one sees a black dot is where a neuron connects to another neuron or muscle. In addition, we show basic counters that will tell us how many times neurons are stimulated or changed. After the program has round ran for a length of time, we can see quite well that network alterations begin to show. The adjacency matrix is much different than when we started and the counters display a lot of activity within our simple connectome. Here we contrast the before and after adjacency matrix. In the red box on both images are the connections between the cortical neurons. And comparing the start adjacency matrix image to what the connections look like after the program has ran, we can see numerous connections gone and numerous connections added. This is plasticity. So what is the significance here? We can contrast Prohm's biologic intelligence or connectomic AI against other paradigms due to the fact that biologic intelligence actually alters the network structure of the system, which includes weighted values between nodes and node-to-node -node connectivity, whereas deep learning maintains the same connectivity and alters the functional values at each node. This creates limitations on deep learning's abilities to expand beyond its narrow perspective. At Prohm, we can create multiple sensory inputs from many and varied sensors, connect the sensory inputs into cortical regions, and terminate the process at output nodes, or what we like to call muscles. 
As different sensory inputs stimulate the cortical neurons that make up cortical regions, we find that the systems begin to alter the network in a way that gives way to general intelligence. Huge training sets are not necessary due to the animal emulation we create. This is all made possible due to this basic plasticity baked into our advanced AI called biologic intelligence. Thank you and go to http colon slash slash prone.ai for more information.